so I cheated a little bit. I got a jump start today. Uh, since I'm waiting on materials to come in for the C pan and the other stuff like that, I figured I'd go ahead and work on modifying the factory collector to work with an aftermarket exhaust. If you've looked at these BMW bites, you can see it's got four pipes that come off the header and it goes into this kind of oblong collector bit. Oh, which is attached to this like 900 pound hunk of stainless. Several of the pipes actually run all the way up inside so when you do cut you don't just get the uh, pleasure of cutting through the outside wall and getting right to the collector. This one I cut uh, about three inches back from where these pipes come in. After I cut that I still had three pipes on the inside to deal with. They were actually flush with here. So if I'm going to cap it and, or kind of shrink it down, cap it, and send it out to a normal piece of exhaust, I had to get these pipes further down so that they could actually flow out. Uh, my solution was a little bit of grinding wheel, a bit of air grinder, and then finally I broke down and fired up the torch melted out. <laughs> Looking at it now, that probably wasn't the smartest idea. If you look at this, you can see it in there, there's a little lip, where this plate is actually sitting inside this. I probably would have saved myself a huge amount of time if I would have just went ahead and surface cut around here cut the inside pipes flush, and then welded this back on. I probably could have done what I've done in easily a quarter of the time. So if you're gonna if you're gonna take the opportunity to do this yourself, uh, I highly recommend you just go to the weld. Don't go too deep. Uh, cut it off. Take out the collector bit. Pack the pipes. Weld this back on, and then start making your shape. I have a piece of two inch here, and you see a big difference between the, between the two inch pipe. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm going to do some pie cuts and try to bring this metal in, and then I'll do some cuts down the side and try to shrink this in. When this is on the bike, it actually lays down kind of like that, kind of hooks in, so it's wide this way. And then eventually the I'm gonna want the, the pipe coming up and off like this. So I'll take like a a flat piece of pipe a uh, flat piece of sheet, weld it to the collector, and then I'll start doing my normal exhaust fabrication so that I can get it to a muffler of some sort. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna to see if we can get this collector cut down into a normal shape that we can actually attach an exhaust pipe to. Let's go. Alright, when I decided to make the pie cut the size I did, I took it and figured it's four inches crossed. I took two inches, I took two inches right there, and then I'm going to cut this free and I'm going to try to bring them in. Since I'm going to look at to use two inch exhaust pipe, I figured the closer I can get this now, the easier and the better it will come to bike. Alright, I'm going to cut down the side, our pie cut right here, our cut right here, I'm going to work on trying to bring these in.
All right, so worked on this. Got to beat in a little bit. Much nicer fit for the two-inch pipe. Work on these sides, and uh, I might pie them in. Might not. These are actually uh, the inside. So theoretically, it's going to be just like this. It's going to come out a little bit from right here. This will be towards the bike. So. All right, well, I'm going to get these welded up and uh, we'll put them in the grinder. Alright, good enough. As one of my favorite tubers likes to say, good enough for the girls I go out with. Definitely good enough for government work. Um, so, we'll start worrying about these wings and see if we can trim off a little bit and maybe crush them in, reduce this diameter some. I don't want to get too much smaller because the way the pipes are sitting in the collector, uh, they still need a, an avenue to actually reach the exhaust pipe. Alright, we'll keep banging on it. Those of you that have never cold worked stainless, have fun. Alright, after a lot of beating and I finally gave in and heated, stretched and welded and squeezed, it's kind of what we come up with. You see the, the pipes in there, the original pipes down there, let's see how it comes up off the bike. Eventually it's kind of what it's going to be like, kind of will kick it up long with the uh, angle of the frame, so we'll bring that out and you won't even uh, really see the rest of the inside. And uh, we'll get a muffler and call that golden. Now. What I gotta do is get a piece of sheet metal and close this in and uh, leave a cutout for probably the, the little elbow that I'm gonna put so that I can connect a muffler and uh, I'll call this project done.